Hi, my name is Michael Beach and I'm here at Shadow and Act. You can have the house and you know I'll take care of my kids. You wait a minute. I give you 11 fucking years of my life and you're telling me that you're leaving me for a white woman? Would it be better if she were black? No, it'd be better if you were black. <laughs> Wow, I, just, I remember mostly about this film because uh, all the men are supposed to be the bad guys. I remember with Forrest, Forrest Whitaker directed it. And he kept, he kept pushing, pushing. John is not bad, John is not bad. He's, you know, he's, he's trying to take care of this and this and that and this. And, you know, as much as he tried, I mean, I think, I'm not, I think he might be the, hate, the most hated man in, uh, on Waiting to Exhale. Uh, um, cast, male cast, uh, and that says a lot because a lot of those guys I hated. Well, uh, reactions were very verbal and at times physical actually. <laughs> I mean, there's been times when I had gone uh, to the store somewhere, to a mall, and uh, cursed out. That happened a lot. And then uh, a couple of times uh, I was pushed. And um, obviously, I didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to push back, even though I felt like it sometimes. Because it's like, lady, what is wrong with you? This is a movie. I'm just a guy walking with my kids and my wife. Why do you have to push me? <laughs> I love the message. Miles, I thought you playing with this band was just a hobby. <laughs> Why would you say something? Because you're an attorney. You work for a great firm with a great reputation. You can make twice the amount of money if you spend more time on your job and quit this music crap. If I want to take $5,000 of my money out of the bank, I'll do it. Only $31,132. <laughs> wow, this film, uh, we had a great time shooting this movie. It was fantastic. Everybody in the cast was fantastic. And uh, yeah, the scene, <laughs> it's funny. I think I just, somebody, cause I constantly get posts sent to me on, on Instagram. Uh, and somebody had just sent this, the scene where she chases me with the knife uh, to me and I reposted it and <laughs> all the vitriol came right back. And, and uh, but that scene was, that scene was a lot of fun because there's so many times when uh, Vanessa really got close to me. Now, obviously, it's not a it's not a real knife, um, but it was it felt like it was, and she, it felt like she was really coming after me. I think, and if Beale Street could talk, I think that scene is so powerful because you have this. Uh, Beale Street is really a, about love, right? And not just between the two main characters, the love of a, of a young man and a young woman, but the love between families. And the love between uh, fathers and daughters and fathers and sons. And for us to want to show that support, you know, to show that we are actually uh, behind whatever it is that our children are doing, especially something so beautiful as bringing a new life into the world. And then for my wife to say something that she said, what she actually said, is so, is so disgusting. Um, and yet I still wasn't sure if what the audience would feel, partially because it was me, you know, if I would be attacked for hitting her, or if more people would understand where that came from. So uh, I was, you know, I was, I was pleasantly surprised to know that I'm not getting attacked because of it. 